Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Average Joe Lawn Care Show. Um, I am your host, Ben, and this is uh, my co-host tonight, uh, Justin Webb, the Lawn Whisperer. Hey. Um, so just wanted to kind of, you know, this show is really just, it's meant to be very extremely casual. Uh, by no means are we experts in the field. We, you know, have our fair share of experience as DIYers, but um, so we can share some of our, our things that we, you know, have, have dealt with through our time managing our own lawn and those types of things. But uh, this show is just meant to have fun, relax, you know, from a from like it, like the description, you know, a busy work week. Just relax, have fun. Hopefully we have some good stories to laugh about and you guys can laugh along with us. Um, you know, it's it's very casual. If you guys have any topics or or questions you want us to talk about, drop those in the comment section, um, and we'll 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 bring them up and talk about them. But uh, that's really the gist of this show. Um, as as I said, my name's Ben. I'm I have the the Lawn Guardian channel. Obviously, or you wouldn't be on my channel watching this if you didn't know who I was. Um, and my co-host Justin. Justin, go ahead and let them know who you are. Uh, yeah, Ben said it. Welcome to the Average Joe Lawn Care Show. I first want to say, uh, grab your favorite beverage. I am drinking lemonade. This is my number one go-to drink. Ben, what are you drinking? Uh, just a just a little H two O. He's drinking a little H two O. So where, wherever you're at, grab your favorite beverage and uh, and join us here. But uh, I have the Lawn Whisper YouTube channel. Um, if you are not subscribed, go subscribe over there. Also subscribe to Ben's if you're here and you have not subscribed yet. Um, just want to thank you guys for joining us. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to hang out. We're going to talk lawn care. We're going to talk probably some other nonsense too. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And it's a uh, all that stuff's in the link in the description. I put uh, Justin's YouTube and Instagram links down there, so go check it out, subscribe. But don't check it until after the show. You'll want to stay tuned for us. Um, but yeah, glad it's Friday. This is uh, the end of a, a, a busy week, um, weird year for everybody. Um, but it's just time to to relax and, and calm down. Uh, I had a good day. Got to mow the lawn. Uh, to prepare it for Halloween domination, I uh, got to meet up with a fellow lawn care, or St. Louis lawn care nut, uh, Brandon Mitchell, the Bush League Lawns. Go check him out as well. He's got his little uh, a YouTube channel as well and puts out some good content. So it was fun to enjoy the mode this evening. We laid down some pretty nasty stripes for Halloween. So um, 
thick and nasty. That's yeah, how we like. Yeah, them. I hope I hope there are some showstoppers tomorrow. That's the that's the intention behind it at least. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be some rubbernecking going on in that neighborhood. So yeah, I also had some visitors as well. I had the lawn tools come by this morning. Uh, we do a little filming, a little mowing, and so I've got some some decent looking stripes going on in my yard from uh, old right tool. What do you mow in your front yard at? Uh, front yard. Uh, front yard, which is tall fescue, is what at two. Pretty much what I mow it all year round. Sure. I don't mow it super tall, like like some people. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. But two and a quarter with the time master. It's got the stripe kit on there as well. Um, because I again I like him thick. Yeah, I didn't know. Well, actually, he had he had a uh the big league lawn striper i have not seen that before and that was I, it was way bigger than i thought it was that's what she said, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, it was it was pretty good though it, it it uh i was surprised at how easy it was to maneuver around the yard with that um the biggest hold up i have on that striper kit or any striping kit is just the price tag on on a lot of them it just seems like a lot of money for just a thing that lays grass over you know, um, I'm always tempted to make a DIY one, but then I, when I look at like the materials and everything that it's going to cost to make a DIY one, it's like, man, this is going to cost like maybe almost as much as it is as to just buy one, especially if you're going to try to make it with any of any quality. So, yeah. Oh, I know some people. Yeah. Oh, I know some people have tried to make a copy of those uh, checkmate stripe kits with the boat wheels and everything. And I think it. I mean, pretty much comes out yeah. to about the same. Yeah. I would imagine because I can't imagine those boat wheels buying. are are cheap by any means. So. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. expensive. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty expensive. Um, I but I will say, uh, I have both the checkmate and the Toro stripe kit for the Time Master. I'm going to hopefully do a video in the spring comparing the two, but uh, both of them have pros and cons. The Toro is much easier to turn and maneuver, and you can take it on and off. I think the checkmate is a little more sturdy, um, but you can't take it on and off easily, unless you buy the Jimmy Lewis uh, quick disconnect, which Jimmy... If you're watching this, I did get mine today in the mail, so I'm excited, to, on excited to put that on and use it. Um, he should have heard you. And Jimmy said, is that lemon it spiked? Spiked with love. Spiked with love. Brett said there's probably a little aerate in there. Yeah, I may have sprinkled a little bit in there. Just a half an ounce, maybe. Just so open everything up in here a little bit. Yeah, make room for those roots. Gotta make room you gotta to gotta make room for everything to spread out a little bit. Brett said, well, it "Sounds like one of y'all have your audio on in the background. Maybe it's me. I don't know. I'll 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 turn it down. Thanks for pointing that out, Brett. I it muted my me. my YouTube feed, so of course yeah, you no. blew it. So the other thing I wanted to mention about this show is." Uh, I don't know. I, I was I was thinking maybe maybe turning this in like taking the audio from the show and turning it into a podcast. I don't know if we'll do that, but it's just something I thought of. But for now, it's just gonna be what it is, just a live stream. Again, none of this is scripted. Justin and I just kind of hop in here, chat, and uh, you know what comes out comes out. And um, hopefully, it's it's good stuff. Hopefully, it's funny. Hopefully, it, it brings some joy to anybody's maybe bad week. So. Um, that's, uh, just wanted to mention that as well. <clears throat> the show will obviously develop and hopefully improve as we go along. So bear with any of the, um, maybe growing pains of a show like this. It is a little bit nerve wracking and challenging to get something set up. So it's a little smooth. So, um, <clears throat> so Justin, what did plus live feeds are always a little, little more nerve wracking just because you come on here. Yeah. There's no do overs, you know. I can't, can't do ten takes like it takes yep. me to do out in my lawn half the time. So, you got to come on here and you got to whatever you say. Yeah, you know, that was uh, today when when Bush League and I were filming. I mean, it it looks like anybody that's out YouTubing or when there's multiple YouTubers, there's tripods, a couple of tripods sitting around, 
you know, a couple lawnmowers and you have the people driving around. And when you're normally out there by yourself doing it, uh, you're, well, at least for me, I know not everybody's like this. I still get super self-conscious and like maybe point the camera down or I, or I'm just like, you know, wave like, oh yeah, I'm not, don't, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Do you, yeah, so we, uh, I'm the same way uh, whenever I am filming at my house. Every time a car comes by, I'll put the camera down and act like I'm doing something. But there's something about doing it with other people. But that doesn't sound right. Uh, filming, there's something about filming lawn care with other people. Um, it's always good to do it with other people. But uh, it, whenever you're filming lawn care with other people, so like I had the lawn tools here and uh, – you know, there's three of us walking around with cameras and we're doing all this stuff and my neighbors are coming by and I just didn't care because I, you know, I wasn't the only loser yeah. out there filming myself talking to my ass. Um, but also whenever I went to Utah about two months ago, I went with Brett. Well, Brett wasn't at Jeremy's house, but uh, Jimmy was there and Nathan for Pacific Northwest Lawns was at Jeremy's house. We had like five people with cameras and it's just hilarious to look around and see five dudes filming themselves mowing grass it's just yeah it's, it's i've really found funny. i've actually since we moved into this new house i've actually found out that a couple of my neighbors have seen me and they're like oh do you do youtube and i had never told them that and they're like oh yeah you probably see me around the lawn with the camera haven't you i said yeah i i didn't know if it would make neighbors think you know, think weird of me or something like that and they're like no i knew what you were doing you know i'm so i think a lot i think a lot of people actually are familiar with what that is even if they you know they don't see it all the time they, even if they see it just for a little bit of time they're like oh that guy's probably a youtuber or something like that which surprised me because i didn't know a lot of yeah. people would even think that way I'd, my thought process would be like who what is that guy yeah. doing in his lawn with a camera just guy doing filming himself <laughs> yeah i had a lady pull up to my house just a few weeks ago and rolled the window down. She says, hey, I've got to ask you a question. My husband and I see the camera. We want to know, are you on YouTube? Well, yeah, 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 I put some videos on there. That's so cool. And I was like, oh, you don't think I'm like the weirdest person that lives in yeah. the neighborhood anymore? So yeah, it's, it's really funny because nobody stops and like really talks right. to me about my camera ever. Um, and so that was the first time. And so I thought it was, I thought it was really funny that that was the first thing she thought yeah. of was that it, YouTube. Well, let's hop, hop over in the chat, see who's all who's all in here. What's going on, Jimmy Lewis, Brett? Uh, I don't see Brett sucks in here. I'm, I'm not Brett, sure, sure if that guy's going to show up. Striver man, how you doing? Grace Ortiz, Ned G, Super AT or TA, not AT, TA three nine two. Lake House Lawn Care. Lake House Lawn Care is a, a, a channel I recently found. Have you heard of him before, Justin? Yeah, I found him fairly yeah. recently too. He does good work. He's up in the uh, yep. Chicago area, I believe. I think he yeah, might I have think, some visitors so here too. coming I up. Think I think it caught Um, the lawn in life. What's yeah. going on, Meister of my lawn? Uh, who else? We got Grace Ortiz. Is lawn and landscaping? How you doing, buddy? Gravy lookout. I snuck into uh, Caroline. Nice. So we got that going. What and, uh, uh, what's your what's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, I'm usually a Starburst or Skittles candy guy. In general, I guess. Starburst Skittles guy. So no chocolate, huh? I mean, I don't mind chocolate. I just I don't know. It's something about those candies I like. I don't know. Because I'm a big I like Laffy Taffy a lot. So I think maybe I like those because they're similar. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, looks like we got a little a good a good crew I'm, I'm rolling in here. I appreciate what you say. Brett says I am the weirdest person in my neighborhood. I would agree with that. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> I wonder when Brett's going to announce the. I mean, I, I saw his uh, Instagram post, but I'm, I wonder Probably when he's going to actually make a video to let the cat out of the bag. I, I don't know. That guy, unless it's a live stream, I just don't see him filming and putting a video up. Yeah. You know you know he doesn't have any more perennial ryegrass where he is now. I know. What's he going to do? Yeah. Princess Cut Lawn Care. How you doing? Well, I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight uh, and uh, just joining us, having a good time. 
and all those kind of things. Like I said at the beginning, if any of you guys have any topics or questions that you want us to talk about, go ahead and throw them up in the chat and uh, we'll we'll see. We'll take a stab at it, see if we can do anything and have have some. Hey, Left Tool, I miss you too. Left Tool. Come back anytime. Elevated landscape and land real estate is real estate of mind. That is a really long name. Real, real estate of mind. <clears throat> I must really be into real estate. So did you do anything uh, to get your, your lawn going for Halloween? Uh, so I had this whole plan because, like I said, the lawn tools came. Shout out lawn tools. Uh, and so I had this whole plan of what I was going to do and when I was going to do it. And I had all these steps. I actually like write it out because I, I, I'm a visual person. So I always take notes in my phone. And so I had all these steps I was going to do. And then we had rain for like 10 days straight and planned like two days ago to spray some liquid iron to darken it up. Was going to mow yesterday. And we had a downpour all day, literally all day. It didn't stop. And I didn't get to do any of it, so that's always fun. Yep. Ooh, Lake House Lawn Care put a good question out there. But to go off what you were saying about the your prepping your lawn, uh, I had plans to like because I was going to do use some microgreen and uh, some of the seven zero zero green effect, and uh, just to give it a little. I didn't know if it could get any darker because like I. I showed on a lot of my videos the lawn got really dark from all the ph adjustment i've been doing and um it's kind of really interesting to see that happen but it makes i guess sense when i hear matt Mar martin explain it i'm not gonna try to um but <laughs> last week i was i've been doing quarter pound of nitrogen since the beginning of september every week and last week i, I got some ammonium sulfate down and with that i put down some microgreen um and it, I, I mean, I, I don't know if it got any darker, but it just looks, the color just looks really good already. So, and I wasn't going to try to throw down some green effect, but like you were saying, I've been dealing with rain all week and um, with it being a foliar application, I didn't want to get it watered in. So I just didn't do it. Plus it was just windy too. So. Yeah. Well, I, uh, looking at your Instagram post and your lawn looks dark, like super dark. Yeah. And it's, it's wild. Like I, there I've applied zero iron. It's only been um, up until last weekend. It's only been ammonium sulfate, um, some triple 13 from here and there. And then I was also putting down um, my pH stuff like the citric acid and the elemental sulfur. And that's it. It was just getting the color, I guess, just because nutrients start, are starting to become available in the soil since the pH was so high. I'll be interested to see yeah. how the pH comes out next spring when I test it again. Are you, do you have, is it bluegrass or is it fescue? It's a, it's a, I mean, it's majority fescue, but I, I do, I can see a lot. There is a good amount of bluegrass in there too, which my other lawn definitely did not have the near, a near amount, the bluegrass this one has. So, um, it does give it a little bit different, I would say a darker color just because of the nature of Kentucky bluegrass. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So you don't have the uh, the lawn quilt going on like I have. You got different different sections and patterns all coming together to make one big piece. You got the fescue, got the bluegrass, got the bluegrass and ryegrass on one side. Yeah, I don't I don't have anything like that. Uh, all mine's just the same same thing, mix of tall fescue and Kentucky blue. It's an, like my other lawn. It man, I can't tell you, and the tools will like me for this, but I really miss the. Uh, the Bermuda patch that I had at the old house because I had that thing. I don't know. It was just fun to play with because it, it's like Bermuda. You, it's so to me Bermuda is so hard to to do stuff in our area. Like it's so hard to like damage it because it doesn't it doesn't really stress out that much during the summer and it it doesn't seem to deal with any sort of fungus issues at least in our area. I didn't notice any. Yeah. Whereas all the cool season lawn in our area, being in the transition zone, it you know you're a lot of humidity and stuff like that so it's it can be challenging at times to deal with that given this situation that i dealt with this year yeah yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you uh, for those who don't know, you turned your side yard into Bermuda for, at your old house. Correct? Yeah, yeah. You were real mowing a, it. That was like a split. That was that part of the lawn was actually half my yard and half uh, my neighbor's, and it was only like maybe I don't know somewhere between five and five hundred and a thousand square feet. So it was extremely small. And uh, he took out a Bradford pear, and uh, there was, the common Bermuda was already over there, and I already had already started mowing it pretty low. And uh, I said, when you take that tree out, I said, let me plug this area, this bare area, with all the Bermuda, and it can spread even more. And he cut it out, took out the stump, and I plugged it. I can't remember how many plugs. It was probably like uh, between three and 400 plugs that I harvested and then put in that area, and it it filled in within six weeks there's a, an old video of mine that you can see it, the little picture time lapse i did of the filling in over the matter of six weeks it was nuts yeah yeah well i mean the lawn tools today after mowing my side yard bluegrass and rye they said it was better than their bermuda i think i think i heard that i bet if they were uh we'll have to see what they say about that on the chat yeah well <laughs> Uh, well, let's dive into one of the yeah, uh, it, it, Lake House Lawn like Care's questions. He said, I, where was it? Uh, worst lawn damage you've done by accident. I don't know. If, worst I, I have to think on that. So if you have one, go ahead and go. I will say... I mean, this, the worst thing I can think of was whenever I first started mowing my lawn, and that was that I mowed it whenever it was super duper wet, and it was way overgrown, didn't bag it, and I left all the clumps, and the clumps sat on the lawn, and then I had a bunch of bare spots everywhere. That's probably the worst I can think of. Yeah. If I were to think, I mean, it had to be like when I was a kid, because I, I started mowing lawns when I was a kid, and... um. I can't, because I was never fertilizing anything, and since I've started fertilizing, I've always been very calculated. I've never, I've always measured everything out. Uh, so I, I've never, like, done an accidental kill-off or sprayed, you know, a non-selective herbicide on something. Um, I can't really think of one. I guess maybe the, I don't know, I was mowing, this is, this is, I was mowing Bermuda at like three or four inches when I was a kid when we lived in Dallas and I didn't know any better, but I don't know if that's really a mistake. It just doesn't look as good as it does when it's mowed short. So, so I, so I go to Alabama every year in the fall mm -hmm. and people's house I stay at, they have a lawn service treat their lawn. And I think that I want to say it's probably cut above three inches and it is, it looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it's really fluffy. It like looks like clouds. Like if you step yeah. on it, it, you just like sink in there and it's just like memory foam. It's, it's actually really Yeah, my, nice. my dad's lawn at their, my parents' house, he's got, he mows, he starts putting the height of the, his Bermuda up to like two and a half, three inches and when I know what I know now, I start to cringe. I'm like, man, that has to look terrible because it just, I know how leggy Bermuda gets. Um, but then he sends me pictures and I'm like, man, that is a super dark green and it looks really good. Um, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure like if you were like pull it away, you'd start to see like the brown underneath it. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just, I don't know. Yeah, I, I've still never in person seen a really well taken care of shortcut Bermuda lawn. I guess you haven't been to the tools house then. Oh, I have not been or to the John, tools house. No, yeah, John Weir. John Weir's got on the agenda. Bermuda. He just over, overseeds it, doesn't he? He overseeds with yeah. perennial rye. Yeah. Yep. Hey, a uh, big shout out to Super TA. Thank you, sir. That's not necessary at all, but I greatly appreciate that. Um, Definitely leggy, but it's it's all leggy. It looks good. It, all legs, man. <laughs> so did you mow? Did you see? Uh, uh, did or did you start mowing yards when you were a kid? No. No, I I did not. I was not into lawn care at all. Um, I think I I mowed for the first time. 
because my dad loved his mower and wouldn't let me touch it. And so I mowed the for the first time when I was probably like 16 at my grandparents' mm -hmm. house. Um, and I hated it. I hated every bit of it. And so didn't really mow until I bought this house. That's interesting because I didn't. I mowed when I was a kid, like growing up, it's like I was middle school. I started mowing my parents, uh, the house I grew up in. And it was something like I looked forward to it. Now, there were times where my, my mom would probably say, like, I had to get you out there to do it. But it was more because she wanted mm -hmm. to get it done then. And I just had my own thought process that I'd get it done at a different time. But I also started at that same point in time. Uh, I wasn't nearly as awesome as Jake the Lawn Kid, but I had a small business going in my neighborhood um, as well. So, Left Tool, you guys, Left Tool, thank you. Unnecessary, but thank you. Um, so that's the biggest that Lake House, Lake House Lawn Care has a has a question. Do you guys have a troll that comments on every video? I'll, I'm going to let you answer Do that first. You guys first. have a troll that comments on every video. You have a troll? I don't. You don't. You don't. Wow. I well, there's like so. What will happen is like I'll get like a random, uh, someone random that and, and it'll be a, a video that's like four months old, and I'm, this person's never commented on anything, and. Uh, I w I'll be like, it'll be something I'm like, where did you come from? Like, I've never seen that. But I, but then I see some of the stuff that I that that you get on your comments or or somebody else. I'm like, man, I don't get half that stuff. So uh, I don't know why. I, I get a lot of hate. I ha I do have regulars. I have several of them. They come on about every video. Um, and then I have the randoms that come on random videos and they are not the nicest but i actually get a kick out of it it does well, not bother yeah because i i like what you do on your instagram stories is you, you kind of like call them out people and you like that make fun yeah. of it a little bit and laugh at it and i think that's yeah. cool i think well, i think the audience probably enjoys that or in the people that follow you i get i get a lot of responses on instagram from that people laughing and thinking that yeah. it's funny but brett just as I have all the regulars that comment negative things, I have some I have some people that are regulars uh, and very. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it uplifting, but it's it's a little it's a little maybe too uplifting. Sure. I think I, I think I have some some ladies that come on there and say some things that probably should not be sure. said, but it's okay. Brett, Brett and funny. Super AT, you guys uh, you guys don't need to do that. But thank you. I, I it's much appreciated. Did you guys? I like can't Brett can't be done by a tool. I think <laughs> Brett, if you were with the tools, I think you'd probably be the middle tool. I don't know if you'd swing left or right. You'd just be right there in the middle. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old middle tool. What do you got planned for this uh, off season? What do you do in the off season? Relax. Do you do you ever get stir crazy time. though? Like, <laughs> at what point in the off season are you just ready to go? Uh, so right now at this point of the year, I'm over it and I'm ready for the break, ready for the off season. And, but like in three weeks, I'll be ready to get back out because. You know, I'm pretty much done with my business, doing all that stuff, um, and I maybe have two more weeks of mowing here in my yard, and basically, I'll go to the fire station, and I'll be there, and I'll come home for two days, and basically, my house, I'll clean my house, like, top mm -hmm. to bottom, and sure, it's clean, and then I'm just finding house projects to do. I'm, like, making up house projects that I can do. I got you. Yeah. Just, just I, stay busy. I, what'd you say? Just to stay yeah, busy. I would say I'm 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 with you. Like right now, I'm kind of like I'm ready to be done. But then it's like usually like a month, a month and a half. I'm like, okay, I, I'm ready to go back outside because I I can't stand yeah. it. Like on Sunday when the uh, time goes, you know, we lose an hour or whatever. I cannot stand that. I mean, I'm yeah. already I already don't like it when the as early as it is now that when the sun goes down and then. 
put that on top of it and it's like noon and the sun's going down. Yeah. But I guess it is what it is. That's the one thing I didn't know about you. Uh, I didn't know you had like your own little lawn care thing on the side. And I don't think a lot of people do know that. That or unless, unless you talk about it on your uh, yeah. channel, but I've never heard you talk about it in any of your videos. I don't. Really I don't really talk about it. No, I. Uh, I, think only, I think I've only ever filmed one video at one of my, one of my customers', customers lawns, lawns, and that was uh, the Toro yeah. Titan Zero yeah. Turn. Um, but no, I don't really talk about it. It's a, small, it's a pretty small operation. I have, have like twenty yards that I mow. Um, usually go out twice a week and knock them out get them done and and uh, that's that left to a... i'm no uh no jtlk or a's lawn and landscaping over here i, I can't keep up with yeah the i wonder course. how many uh i wonder how many clients uh just or jake and uh aiden have i've always cur been curious about that because i know jake says he's primarily just in his neighborhood but I imagine now that he can mm -hmm. drive uh, and he has his own car and trailer and everything, he has to be able to get, he has to be doing more properties, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's the way to do it, though. If he can just take over his neighborhood and stay right close, he could, he could uh, dominate there. And then that's all you really need to do. Uh, left tool left a good comment. I imagine Brett is, is every one of those female profile messaging I'm messaging Justin. <laughs> I 100% believe it. You would, Brett. You would. Uh, Princess Cut Lawn Care asked what the funniest call was I had to respond to on the job. I'm going to be honest with you and say that I cannot answer that on this live stream. I've got a few of them that come to mind, and I cannot answer that. Is it, it HIPAA, right? Uh, not even that. I just I wouldn't feel comfortable oh, sharing it on sure, here because sure, yeah. no, I, my brother's a fire. My middle brother's a firefighter too, and um, I've heard some interesting calls as well that I can understand in this type of platform. Not being able to share that. Yeah, no. I mean, I can tell you it's pretty funny. Maybe. George, maybe you can message me and I'll just let you fill you in on the, D DM. On the outskirts of this. Yeah, slide in the DMs. <clears throat> Any free products you received that were terrible? Next question. <laughs> you don't want to answer? I'm not, I don't want to put anybody on blast. No, on I got you. That's fair. I honestly haven't received... Uh, Anything that I've received free, I probably asked for it, and I knew I, when I asked for it, I knew it was good when I asked for it. So it wasn't like, oh yeah, test this out or something like that. Sure. So, plus, yeah, yeah, it, no, I, I have a few companies that have reached out to me, and I told them I'd look at their product, and when they, the lawn tools, no, they were they were here earlier, but. Uh, no, I have a few things that I wouldn't say are the best sure. items. It's the family friendly show. That's the after hours. Does anybody watch Jim? Do you watch Jim Gaff again? I don't. Oh, I don't. I guess that was a maybe people in the in the chat know that uh, little quote I made, but now you just made me look like a fool, Justin. Thanks. <laughs> well you can i mean sorry yes i watched it. Yes, <laughs> yeah I you're just supposed to like, oh yeah but nobody would have believed you because you didn't laugh at what i said or you just don't think jim gaffigan's funny even if you did hear it <laughs> that's a pretty good one david baron i want to know how to get one of those cool toys uh oh we lost you we lost ben what happened to Ben? Oh no! Please pause during this brief commercial break. Do 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 do. I don't know where Ben went. He just disappeared. Oh man. All right. 
Well, Ben has been replaced. Ben, I, I guess I have my own show. I guess I get to just talk to you guys and, and do my own thing. Uh, ben, uh, Ben, Ben passed. He's gone. So I am taking over his channel and nothing you can do about it. So why fire department and PD? I, I don't work for the PD. I don't do both. I don't know if that's what you meant. Uh, which tool smelled better today? Uh, Papa tool. Daddy O. I can't pick between right and left tool. I didn't get close enough to them to smell them. Let me know how to get one of those Toro hats. You got to win the giveaway. The lawn tools, you want a good chance of winning a giveaway? Those guys give away more hats than anybody. So We're back. He's back. He is back. All right, so that was oh, my, yeah. my fault. I had the I, GoPro plugged in, I, and I thought it was charging, but I guess it wasn't. So that's that's something I, I got to fix. Uh, I took over. I've, I've been doing a great job here. Uh, favorite office episode. Um, my favorite office episode, I think, is hmm, I really like the dinner party, and I really like... Um, there's so many good ones. I don't know how you could even choose. I like the ones, the one where they take the turtles, uh, to the attorney and then they go back to get the turtles and the guy's eating them and he says, where are the turtles? And then the guy says he ate them. And then Dwight turns around and says, we'll bill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I know that one. <laughs> Scott's tots for sure. Scott's tots. It makes you cringe. Jordan, who's Papa Tool? Ben is back. I don't know if you're talking about yourself, Jordan, when you say Papa Tool is laughing. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, Man, you, no, you, you were gone. You missed it all. I, I got asked the question, and I answered it, Papa oh. Tool. I got gotcha. you. You had to You had to be there. <clears throat> Well, do you have any, uh, what kind of, do you have anything, maybe you won't reveal this, so I don't know, um, but uh, projects, main projects going on next year? Uh, so the number one project for me is figuring out my new land setup um, and maybe getting rolling on that. If, if lumber comes down, we're going to start building as soon as we can, um, but prices are ridiculous right now so we're going to wait on that until the prices come down but i'm going to start clearing some land out and stuff and and doing stuff out there as far as this current house um i, I might put in a new landscape bed or a new mulch bed on the side of my house to cover up my electric boxes and all that ugly stuff other than that i'm kind of just coasting until until it's time to sell the house when is that going to be uh Maybe, maybe next you fall. Might, I mean, maybe your buyer is uh, in the chat right now. Hey, anybody out there, <laughs> there wants to buy a house with tall fescue in the front, bluegrass in the back, come my way. Irrigation system. I mean, we've got the whole work. So the lawn tools mowed it. I mean, I don't know what yeah. more you could want. It's famous now. It is famous. It is famous. I mean, I was on the Lawn Tools Instagram today. So I had a, there's a question in here. Um, I, I'm going to butcher the name. Bilal Quereshi. Can you pronounce it? Where's it at? Where's um, it at? It's near the bottom. Oh. Oh. But uh, they asked. Bilal Koreshi. What'd you say? Bilal Koreshi. Yeah, Koreshi. there you go. Um, they had a question. Um, I have a huge problem under a blue spruce pine tree in the middle of my yard. I have difficulty growing my grass under there. Any suggestions? From what I know about pine trees, I, I hear they can really change the soil pH, and that discourages other plants from growing underneath them. I don't know if that's true or not. But Justin, do you have anything? 
Uh, I would agree with exactly what you said. And trees in general are hard to grow grass mm -hmm. under because of the shade and just because of the roots sucking up all the water and the nutrients. And so my biggest suggestion, if you can, make a mulch bed around it. Um, at least to like the outside of where the tree grows to um, and try to grow grass up to that. But I think you're going to have a hard time growing grass all the way up yeah, under the tree. Sure. Well, the lawn in life, who has the best looking lawn on, uh, lawn on YouTube? Definitely not me. Ooh. We're going to hurt well, feelings I mean, so, here. Well, that, that's a... That's a challenging question because you kind of have to break that up into two different categories, cool season or warm season. Then you could break it up in either their further categories by going KBG, tell fescue, you know, break yeah. it up into categories. In my opinion, I think Pete Denny has one of the coolest looking lawns on YouTube. I would agree. I mean, Pete's lawn Not because awesome. I don't necessarily mean it's the best, but it just looks awesome because it's so big and he can do a lot of cool things in it. Yeah, uh, that and um, I think Ryan Knorr has a awesome looking oh, lawn. Oh, for sure. Um, uh, I I will have to say, not anymore. Actually, I can't give him credit anymore because I don't think he lives in the house anymore. So, sorry, Brett. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, Brett, you're no Brett, longer the owner Brett's of that RPR. house. So you, Brett's RPR. You could have got some nice compliments, but you didn't. So. Out. Oh, uh, they. So it's pronounced Bill at Bill Al. So we 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 almost got it. Sorry. Lawn tools episode with John where was legendary. Yeah, that was a pretty good episode, Princess. Better climate, Better climate to grow grass, St. Louis or Bloomington. Uh, uh, I'd say we're probably pretty close to the similar. Yeah. I don't know, like... You probably get a little hotter. Where are you, like, are you on the same longitude? Is it longitude? I, have no I always idea. get that mixed up, longitude and latitude. I think longitude is going up. Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know if we're on, like, the same, doctor. you know, if you, like, look at the United States, if we're close to the same, you know, area as far as going across the, the country. So I have no idea. I've never. Okay. Sorry, we're not we're we're not experts. I warned you people at the beginning it's probably, of the show. It's probably. It's probably pretty similar. It's pr probably pretty similar yeah. grass growing conditions. <clears throat> Let's see. He says latitude. Latitude is this way. Okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. So do you have any, uh, so when you started taking care of your lawn at your current house, when did you start, when did you know, like you were going to be absolutely obsessed with it and it was going to be something that you started documenting? Uh, well, so when I first got this house, I didn't care about the lawn at all. I cared about the lawn equipment. Um, I went and I got a Husqvarna walk behind or self-propelled mower from Lowe's and it was orange. And so then I had to have all my, I'm weird like this. I had to have the echo string trimmer because it was orange. And then I had a steel blower because again, it was orange. Um, and so it was all color coordinating. I still didn't care about the lawn. Yeah. Color, color coordinating. Um, and I, didn't care about my lawn though until my neighbors who lived down the street had who had a lawn care company take care of their lawn and their lawn looked looked really good walked by and said something like oh like if you ever you know get tired of trying to do it yourself and you want to have your lawn look nice i can give you the number of our guy and that's when i was like oh, okay yeah it's on i'm gonna make my lawn look better than theirs all on my own just so i can rub it in their face and then i did i went to youtube and started learning all about this stuff and then uh then my lawn started looking nice and didn't uh didn't think i was going to film myself though um but you know glad i did glad yeah I so i knew i wanted a good looking lawn when we bought our first house which was the last house we lived at um and 
because I, you know, I liked doing it as a kid and whatnot. And I was, I remember it was, uh, I don't know, it was one of the falls, I think fall of 2017. That's when I started YouTube and like, I, you know, I love doing this, but I don't know the details of it. I, you know, I've mowed plenty of lawns before, but so that's when I found uh -huh. Alan. And I was also watching, you know, Roger Cook from this old house, getting tips from him. I don't know if you ever watch it, uh, any of that stuff. Um, uh -huh. But then I started, you know, I followed a lot of the tips from those people. And Roger. what's that? R yeah, Roger. Roger. I can't, I'm not good at doing accents. <laughs> but I, uh, I took their tips and started doing it. And I can't remember, I think it, I started filming it because... Uh, I kind of got motivated by like what Alan did and what Ryan did. And at that point, I think I was watching Matt too. And um, I don't remember who else I was watching, but it was a very, probably only five channels at the most at that point that I watched. And I was like, you know what, maybe I, maybe I could, you know, enjoy doing this. Cause it was kind of, I liked creating something and editing and those types of things. And um, it, it definitely, I knew when I did it, I wanted it to be a hobby, and I, you know, it still is a hobby. I don't make a living off of this stuff or anything like that. I still just enjoy creating content and interacting with the audience and those types of things, and um, at the same time, enjoy. It motivates me to take even better care of my lawn because I'm like, I'm going to film this, so I don't want it to look bad. And if it does look bad, uh -huh. I guess it'll just make for some good content, like earlier this year. <laughs> Yeah. So. Yeah, totally. I, I, uh, at first, I, so I actually tried to make a channel like two years before I made this one and I filmed one video and I put it up. It was like three minutes. It was just me mowing and somebody at some point that I know saw it and said something to me and I got real self-conscious about it. And so I just quit making videos and then I decided to pick up the camera again last spring and make a video and again i think i saw said saw somebody said something about their first videos being really cringe yeah that was like worthy i i really want to i want to make a video of me reacting to watching my first video because i, I it's just it would be so ben hard Sims to watch because i'm just so hard the camera. yeah he made oh, did he? one of his videos this past season he, he did something like that he was it was a reaction video to his old videos i think he might have done a live stream doing it i can't remember but okay yeah so that i just i have not gone back and watched my first videos but i can only imagine what they what they would be like yeah <clears throat> i think for me i know i started doing it too because it, it was a little bit more it was an outlet for me more at that time because i was i was going through some challenging career times at that point and it was just another thing for me it was challenging me to do something that was something i'd never even tried to do before and i think that's uh -huh. what kind of motivate motivated me to do it initially and then i also really got involved in the community like i i think the lawn care community now is really cool and now as i've gotten to be more involved in it i've noticed a lot of the bs that goes on and all those types of things which i was very blind to all that stuff when i initially got into it but to me it's still just a very cool community because everybody for the most part is willing to lend a helping hand no matter what and i mean especially when you think about the professionals like matt and alan and i mean they give so much free information to people and john perry i mean i mean they just they give so much free information to people and it's uh you would pay a lot of people to or pay a lot of money to learn those types of things they actually teach so um i just find that yeah. very very cool so yeah yeah totally and and whenever that's why i see people complain sometimes about paying for Alan's yes. guide and it's when you sit back and think about it the guy has put how much information oh, for yeah. free on his YouTube channel which he, he has even said all of the information in the guide you can find on the YouTube videos if yep. you go and dig around but it's like 25 bucks for the lawn care guide and you're getting how much information um, it's just it's just crazy that people would even well, that's complain about the, it, like but. when I first uh... 
when I was first doing it myself, you know, I, after a while, I started to create my own like lawn care plan per se. And, um, I, that's what I did. I watched like a ton of his videos and kind of put a very rough outline of something to do for my lawn throughout the year. And then as I've come to know Alan and, and work with Alan, I'm like, I was pretty close to a lot of what he is in his guide. Now, by no means would I be able to regurgitate a lot of that information. And there's way more detail in that guide than um, what I was actually doing. But you're right. It is like, it is there. Like you could just easily follow a lot of yeah. those videos and, and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got to say, I think Blank Man and Left Tool are have, have to be the same person on here on this chat. Because Blank Man asks, "Would you rather have a real low lawn or be good looking like Left Tool?" <laughs> that has to be Left Tool. Maybe that's Papa Tool just giving Left Tool a little. <laughs> Uh, Bill Al, how can we figure out oh, what the stuff. when the ground has has had its first freeze? Basically, when is the last time to throw down my winterizer? I know Alan suggests throwing it down a week after you know it's going to be the last time you mow. I don't know if there's yeah, that's a good any different guidelines or so I. Typically, you're you're just whenever you get the first freezing temperatures yeah. doesn't mean your ground is right. going to be frozen, yeah, because I mean it's it just doesn't work like that. So you're going to be fine if you got a first freeze. You don't necessarily have to go ahead and throw down your winterizer right right now, um, but kind of try and figure out whenever your ground temps are going to be. I think I think around 50 is whenever like. It, you don't want to throw it down like you should have already thrown it down when the soil temps are 50. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I usually here, I usually throw mine down right before Thanksgiving, like a week before Thanksgiving, because that's about a week or so, like Ben said, after I have done my last mow and the ground is getting ready to, to freeze. So, yeah, that's, uh, uncle Wackers bro. I mean, that's, that's true. Um, the yeah. Lawn in Life asks our favorite all-time lawn fertilizer. I don't know if I have one because I've, I've been, like this past year, I was, I didn't even really use like an official fertilizer. Like, a lot of the fertilizer I was using was something I got from Rural King because I was, it was just an ammonium sulfate because I was using that. Um, based on what map yeah, and you can get good stuff there. Yeah, you can get good stuff. Yeah. In the I mean, it was just a, it was just a ammonium sulfate. It wasn't anything special, but I was primarily using that just for pH purposes because I think, or at least, excuse me, that's what I think. Would, um, it's quick release, and I think it can help with lowering pH. I think that's why Matt was suggesting me using that. I know somebody asked where so, where yeah. John Ware has been on the yeah. YouTube's. I don't know. I think I think he just makes videos for fun, and he I don't think he's worried about making a consistent schedule on his videos, which I kind of admire that because for me it's kind of a mental game. It's like, oh, I want to make another video or something like that. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of work. Takes a lot of work. People don't people who don't do this don't realize how much work goes into filming and editing and and yeah. all that. Yep, and especially when you wanted to try to when you have like an image of how you want it to look. And you know, in order to make it look that way, it's going to take some work to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I had this, we had this talk with the lawn tools today. It's uh, better to have a, a published video than to have a perfect video in mm -hmm. your mind. That's true. 100% of the time. So uh, I, I always plan things out and I picture them and then I. Uh, I picture how they're going to go, and then I end up not doing it because I don't think that it's going to turn out how I want to. But really, you just have yeah. to do it. You just have to yeah, yeah. go for it. Ned G said, "If we start calling ourselves artists, he's going to uh, he might puke." I'm by no means an artist. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, so, uh, so Zuhair, Zubair. I hope I'm saying that correct. 
um, asked, when is the best time to dethatch or aerate in the spring if they didn't get to do it in the fall? Um, so I'm going to say as soon as your grass starts starts growing um, and is growing, you know, vigorously and growing well. So you don't want to really do that when it's still dormant. Um, so as soon as your lawn starts is green and, and growing like normal, go for it. Yeah, and you asked that. That was the second time you asked that question. Sorry we missed that question earlier. So. Um, and Justin, you're talking about like when it in the spring when it starts greening up and stuff like that. Yeah. The artist formerly known yeah, as the lawn guardian. Thing. No. <laughs> artiste. Artiste. Uh, Lake House Lawn Care. Or some, I don't remember if it was him or somebody asked if we made any if we met or made any unpublished videos that weren't lawn care. I've made some, I've made one family video from a family vacation we did uh, last year. And it took forever to edit because I just took a bunch of random footage from the vacation and mashed it together into something that looked half decent. Yeah, and I have not. I think every single one of my videos has to something to do with lawn. Uh, but next year, I start doing more stuff at the property that might be a little different. It'll still be outside yeah. stuff, but it won't be necessarily lawn. Uh, how how long do you think it'll take for somebody on this chat to make a channel on here or a name on here, the lawn artist? Mm, that's a good question. Tonight. Yeah, somebody's going to do it tonight. Well, I don't know. How many viewers do we have? We can't have that many, so... I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody will re-listen to it and do it. I don't know. Uh, I think RVA just got busy with uh, life and work. Because I still see him trolling sometimes in on Instagram and, and people's uh, posts on there. The oh, the pressure washing video. I forgot. I do have... Uh couple pressure yeah, I get, videos i guess those yeah, aren't have, lawn related here's a good one here's a good one uh the lawn and life says have you ever been recognized in public by a random person i have not have you ever so i i was actually pretty funny i was at my buddy's wedding in cleveland ohio or outside of cleveland ohio uh, and after the wedding, we went to back to the hotel, and there was uh, my the wedding party I was in, and there was another wedding party there, completely random. And I was walking through the hotel, and some guy walks up to me and stops me and says, "You're the lawn whisperer." And I was like, "What?" What? <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, I, I've seen you. I've seen, he goes, "I've seen your videos," and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me." That's funny. So that was really funny. And so I ran over as quick as I could, told my wife, and she was like, <sighs> rolled her eyes. So that was really funny. Super, I think I was the only Super time, TA, uh, he said about your question of making a channel called that. He said, if I could make a video rather than pick videos, uh, I would take that channel name. There you go. I'd have to agree with you, Jordan, Ooh, that the uh, cheater stripes might are, are lawn art because I could imagine that's a bit challenging because you do definitely do have to have an eye for it before you do it, and then you have to, uh, I don't know, during while you're while you're mowing that, you know, pay attention to where you're trying to make everything look good. I can't imagine it's easy. I think they're lawn art. You see, you see different designs and not, not just straight yeah. stripes. Like I, I'm picturing the lawn tools drone shot. I think they did the circles mm -hmm. um, or the spirals. I'm going to give that. That's Jimbo Lewis art, did that. Uh, he did that cell phone signal look from his uh, trampoline. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's all kinds of lawn art to be to be yeah. had here. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if I can do any sort of neat stripes on that side piece of my lawn that's uh that long strip that kind of slopes up and the way the sun can hit it during uh the morning and afternoon it, it's got there's got to be a really cool way to make it look cool but i just haven't figured it out yet and i don't have a striping kit at this point so 
we shall see. If anybody has any good ideas, yeah, get one. Know. Uh, push broom. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You did. You mentioned that a couple of days ago. I did. I actually filmed a video this morning before the uh, before the tools showed up. Push broom all the way. Uh, Lake House Lawn Care says which pro sports team has the best grass, and I am going to say, my opinion, the Red Sox. I have a kind of a, a big lawn crush. Lawn crush. Uh, what? How do we? How, how do I say that? On uh, David Meller, he takes care of the Red Sox uh, stadium. He's a greenskeeper there. And not greenskeeper, whatever you would call it for, for the, I don't even know. What, what would a, cause it's not a green. What, what do they call that for like a baseball? Somebody who takes care of the turf. On the baseball I would just field. assume it's like, anyways, De David Miller, I follow him on Instagram. If you don't, and you're into lawn care, he posts like all the time, what they're doing to take care of the Red Sox field uh, at Fenway and that's like one of my goals is to be able to go out there and hang out with that guy for a day and just like talk grass and do all the things head groundskeeper there it is why could I not think of that man lawn and life is giving some good questions who whose wife gives the eye roll every time you talk about the lawn uh mine does not and I actually I think it's really cool she's actually picked up on some of the things that I've she probably heard me watch or something because she can start identifying weeds in other people's lawns. <laughs> or she'll funny. know, or she'll be Mind able to, I don't know, distinguish or make a, like, say why something, like why a lawn is looking like that. And she'll usually, she'll maybe sometimes have an answer and which I think is really cool because it's like, all right, you're, you take, uh, an, you take an interest in something that I am very interested in. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say something to my wife like, "Oh, that uh, the side yard is getting it's getting thicker, blah blah blah." And she, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, that's cool. Uh huh. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Talk to you again in ten minutes about it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Chuck's in what's, the house. What's that? Chatting all days. Oh, house. Chuck, Chuck, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining. Well, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this last thing since we're on the topic of stripes. Uh, what is the best, like, is there, is there a particular Mo that you remember where you just laid down some of the best stripes that you've not been able to um, match since that point in time? Um, I will say... Uh, on my side yard before I killed it off and, and replanted it when it was tall fescue, it's like a straight section. And so it stripes really well going, going up and down this way. And last fall, I laid down some really nice stripes and I filmed it and I lost the footage um, from that mow. And so I wasn't able to use it and I was really upset Is about that, it. That's not the same mow you're, where you have like, in my opinion, like, Hey, probably the picture a lot of people know you for is that one with your foot up on your time master and the with flag, the flag. That, that mo. Yep. Like it was. Um and so that that was from the drone. That uh that picture's actually taken from the drone. And so I, I have the drone footage, but I don't have any of the actual camera footage and, and all that stuff. So but yes, that that's what that picture's from. Gotcha. <clears throat> um Mary Mario, I don't know. I'm I'm bad with names, and I apologize. When uh, when would a groomer attachment be essential on a greenskeeper? I uh, I don't know anything about real mowing, so you'd have to ask yeah, those tool guys that you are should in reach this, out to the lawn uh, tools because they're going to be able to or Lake House. to give you the the best answer on that one. <clears throat> Yeah, so those stripes I posted on the on the gram today, those were uh, compliments of the lawn tools. They they took the uh, manual, earthwise, real mower for a spin, 
laid those down. It looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. For a manual reel mower that weighs like 15 pounds, it does a pretty that, good job. That was done on your side lawn? That was on my side lawn. That was on my side lawn. Oh, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the side lawn double singles or are you talking about the diamonds? Uh, the one uh, the one you said today, wasn't that uh, the side lawn where you just planted? Did you plant perennial rye and Kentucky blue over there? Is that what yeah. you're talking about with the manual? Yeah. I got yeah. you. Yep. Yep. I'm obsessed, with that. I'm obsessed with that, by the way. That's my baby. That side yard's my baby. You're upset with them? I'm obsessed with, oh, obsessed obsessed with, with it. it. That side <laughs> I'm obsessed with. I, I think I could mow that thing five times a That's day. That's what the Bermuda patch was like for me at the old house. Yeah, it's it's addicting. I'm not gonna lie. Well, guys, uh, I appreciate everyone tuning in tonight. Um, make sure you check us out uh, next Friday. Justin won't be with us because he's got to go save people's lives as a fireman. And uh, but we will have Jimbo Lewis from Jimmy Lewis uh, YouTube channel. He's Jimmy. pretty sweet. Go check him out. He has a, he's out in Utah, has a really beautiful Kentucky bluegrass lawn. He remows his front and rotary mows his back lawn and has a beautiful backdrop to his back lawn. But uh, I appreciate, sincerely appreciate everybody that, that tuned in tonight. Um, all the super chats, completely unnecessary, but I, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, that support just means a lot. So, um, Feel free to email any questions to me and or Justin about topics you want us to talk about in the future. Um, but with that being said, thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you next Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, you guys have a great weekend and happy Halloween. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We will see you next time. Perfect.